Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. Now, welcome to another episode of League Discussion, the series where I take a topic, rip it apart my own opinions and experiences, and encourage you guys to join in the conversation in the comment section below. And uh, now, before we get into the actual discussion, I just thought I'd explain what's going on at the moment. Uh, that isn't a great thing. Uh, if you don't follow me on social media, if you don't follow the uh, YouTube community page, um, that's relatively new, um, you probably have no idea. So, I kind of, I, we, some people know the saying in life, when it rains it pours, when you have something bad happening, more bad stuff happens, and then eventually good stuff will happen. Well, I'm in, unfortunately, one of the pouring moments at the moment. It is literally lashing down with bad stuff going on. Um, in the past two weeks, I want to say, um, we've had ranging things from a family member dying to... Uh, tumble dryer breaking to uh, there's been, like honestly there's been so much it's like what do i even say uh but the most recent one is um my internet's dead like literally dead there's nothing i can do um firstly they said it was an external problem that it's something at the exchange and there's nothing i can do and then we're like okay we'll wake up in the morning see if it comes back online the engineers are going to be working through it the night still no internet so my dad apparently was ringing them this morning and they're like, oh, no, it seems to be an internal problem now. So maybe it was an external problem and now it's an internal problem. Oh, we'll have to have an engineer come into your house tomorrow. And it's kind of like, wait, what? Like you said it was external and now it's internal. So that's changed. But that obviously means still no internet. Um, but on top of this, and I'll say normally this would be completely fine. Normally it would be normal. Uh, I'm usually quite adv ahead in videos anyway. So you guys probably wouldn't have even been able to tell. Um, but I'm going away. Um on thursday so tomorrow again i'm probably going to upload this one if i can the second video of the t t today where i climb to master is actually the first video of the day um and that's because i've had to spread my videos out by the way uh of the ones that i've had recorded already but yeah um so no internet i'm going away for thursday friday saturday i'm back on saturday um and i had a bunch of videos already recorded but not enough to cover everything uh, well, obviously, now that this has happened, I've had to kind of take my gameplay videos and actually kind of go, oh, I can't do two gameplay videos a day. We'll have to do one gameplay video a day. And I just amount, just make it. But not all of them are, are unranked to diamond. I think three of them are. Two of them are climbed to master. Um, and then I'm just going to do these extra little videos as the second video of the day. Um, it, like Probably you'll get like two or three league discussions. And if you're wondering how am I doing it, uh, well, uh, my phone, <laughs> um, the, the glorious thing of 4G personal hotspot, basically. Um, so I ha unluckily have a pretty damn good phone package. I get 100 gig of data a month, which I normally basically never use. Um, but it's going to be more than enough for the one or two days that I need it for. Even later today, I'm actually going to attempt to play League of Legends recording with my phone as the connection. Uh, but unfortunately, I can't directly connect it. It's a bit complicated. But I need a wireless connection. Uh, so I've ordered a wireless adapter that's arriving today. So I'll, I'll attempt to play League of Legends using 4G later. That'll be an interesting video and video title. Um, and we'll do Unwrecked to Diamond with that, I think. Because um, why not? And yeah. So a lot's gone on. A lot of bad has happened. But you'll, see, you'll, you'll still see me smiling. Like, that's what you got to do. You, you can't let life get you down. And a, a lot of bad stuff has happened recently. And obviously, I'm not going to share everything with you a lot and um hopefully it'll stop <laughs> hopefully when i get back which obviously is going to be quite a sad time hopefully when i get back things will just start getting better from there and i will say the channel in itself is doing amazing um views are up subscribers are up um it's i know this sounds kind of crazy and i don't like sharing it too much but money is up that we're probably going to equal december in february that's insane. That's never happened in the life of probably any YouTuber ever. Like, well, it probably has. But, like, that's crazy because December is the best month of the year. And so that kind of shows you the channel is doing really well. Um, so thank you for that. And obviously, now not having two gameplay videos a day is probably going to make it go down. But, again, life happens. Uh, I can't dwell on that too much. Uh, I'm still a human and I can't expect me to have robot perfection to gameplay videos uploaded every single day when something like this happens. It's it's impossible. Uh, but there we go. That was a rather long introduction. What I probably would have done is put like a little timestamp saying, yo, skip 
what's going on here and some people probably would have done that but anyway let's get into the league discussion uh, that we're going to be talking about voice chat uh, we have spoken about this topic before but i think it's a, a good idea to bring it back up uh, is if you're unaware uh, riot recently and again there is something called the pbe which is the public beta environment so it's the test server for league of legends uh, that you get invited to I think it's like once a year you can apply and then they invite only a handful of people. Oh, I've got two accounts of that and um, I jump on there occasionally, not too much. Uh, but recently on the on the PBE, the test server, uh, a voice chat feature has come up. Um, it's not working at the moment, so nobody knows exactly what it's for. But there is definitely a voice chat feature in like the, the, the chat uh, area of the client. So near your friends list and stuff, there's a voice chat feature. Um, so obviously right in the past have said they are toying with the idea of it. They are still not sure whether they would do it or not, uh, as there are many positives and negatives to voice chat. And I thought having a discussion about it would be great. Uh, and normally I would say normally this type of discussion would be great to go on QT, but with my internet and things being crazy at the moment, I don't think I can handle doing all that and putting it out at the correct time. So we're just going to do it on the good old fashioned way in the YouTube comments down below. Give your opinions, throw a like on the video, help out the video, that type of thing. And um, yeah, that would be cool, right? Anyway, uh, voice chat. So... If you're wondering what side of the argument I am, if you're just like, you just want to know that straight away, I am actually against voice chat. But like all the arguments that I do, I'm going to start with the positives first. Again, I, I tried to do this with the top plane video that I gave some positives to Hershishian's argument. And some people actually appreciated that. A lot of people thought I was relatively like not using my bias in that argument, that I was very neutral uh, with just making logical points. Um, and obviously I will say, that is kind of false. I did have personal bias in that argument. I'm not going to lie. Uh, with this one, I have personal bias for a different reason. Uh, I have history with voice chat, obviously. Like most of us. Well, actually, not all of us do. If you've only played video games on your computer, uh, the only voice chat you probably have had is probably like organized voice chat. That you join event server, a team speak, a Discord. You probably haven't ever had random voice chat, maybe. Um, where me as a console gamer for a long time when I was a teenager, I, yeah, voice chat was like nearly 10 years of my life probably. So I've got a lot to say about it. Um, but yeah, let's start with the positives. So what are the positives with voice chat? Okay, the first thing that I can think of is increase potentially, again, all of this I will say is potential, potential increased gameplay uh, and communication and how League of Legends is built is team orientated so they are moving league of legends as i've said even in that top lane video they are moving the direction of league into a team orientated thing right um so with having voice chat and then making it more team orientated well surely that would go together and then you can have great team play that's a positive like that i'm not going to ignore that the game direction is going more team reliant and boom you get voice chat you work together as a team another positive thing is the opportunity to meet more people uh, a lot of people in League are very isolated. Um, so when you're actually having to talk to people, a lot of people may come out their shell more, get more confidence. So there is that aspect to it. And obviously I will put a negative point to that because that can be very easily reversed. Um, but yeah, for the most part, you get shy people. A lot of people that are socially insecure who play League uh, may come out their shell a bit if they're having to speak to people. And honestly, that helped me. Um, as everybody knows, when I was about 16, I went through some very, very bad years of my life and I was basically not talking to anybody apart from my online friends. And if I didn't have them, I'd literally have nobody uh, in those few years. So it did help. It does help. It got me through it. Um, people, uh, you know, when I was a teenager, having online friends was weird where well, now it's kind of the norm. So yeah, like I think that could also help a, a few people. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then other positives, well, like I said earlier, the, the big, the only massive one I can think of is the increased team play, which then may make the gameplay of League of Legends go slightly up. Um, and that, again, I, I'm literally trying to search for any other positives that I can think, but that is pretty much it. Like, when it comes to why voice chat could be a thing, it, it may increase team play, it may increase gameplay, 
and it may help some people come out their shell who may be more socially awkward and socially in inactive that's pretty much it and again if you have a positive throw it down there because that's all i can think of right now and again i'm trying not to be biased i i i, I purposely give the positives first i don't want to hammer it with negatives and then people are like oh yeah i give positives first and then i'll go negative um but that that's pretty much all i can think of um so there we go let's go negatives and i will say uh negatives is going to be bigger it's going to be a bigger list uh obviously i've put a thought into this discussion and again those two positives are the only ones that i can think of where negatives i can think of a lot more first one um toxicity let's just start there shall we uh league is not a nice game when it comes to community um there are some nice people within it you know you get people that have never been uh you know pa uh, punished for bad behavior before uh have the, the the fist icon uh that means you're honorable you get honor level five like you know there's some nice people but for the average person i'd say in every game of solo queue that i play there is at least one or two people that you probably not want to really speak to uh or you just consider toxic that's not great and when it comes to voice chat uh, uh, so it, my mind is sparking in many directions here a lot of people would probably agree that Riot doesn't handle toxicity very well right now. That toxic people don't get banned quick enough. That there's so many of them, how aren't they banned? I'm sure most people can agree to that point. And that is in a, with a text-based system. Uh, that is very easy to tell if people are being toxic or not because it's literally typing evidence. If they're not doing great reducing toxicity when it comes to a text-based system, how on earth are they going to do it to a mic-based system? Like it's that's near impossible like what they're gonna have people listening the whole time like that's that's impractical so to me what i would i would firstly suggest is if they wanted to implement voice chat to me as like a, a league player not even just a youtuber as a league player i'd want there to have confidence in riot that they've got rid of toxicity in the basic text system before they moved into something more advanced where right now and again i right i've done this a few times recently is that they're designing things when they should be focusing on others recently the brand new tab it, when you press tab the scoreboard in league of legends to me that is a that was a non-issue that was that is a perfect example of over designing something of something that didn't need to be over like designed they could have done something different but they put their time into something that didn't need to be done and I think that's another issue with this voice chat is that you should be focusing on getting rid of toxicity through the basic text system. Come out with a massive article saying, hey, guys, we did it. Toxicity has gone down 92 percent. Um, you know, our reports are a lot more active. Our mutes are a lot more active, all that stuff. And that will give the community confidence to kind of go, oh, they're doing it. They're actually looking into toxicity. And now they're moving on to voice chat. That makes sense where they're not doing that at all. Toxicity is still a massive thing in League of Legends and... It doesn't seem it's going away. So that is the first point that I will say is that in voice chat, it's going to be a lot harder to moderate. And right now, Riot don't even do a good job moderating text-based. And some people will counter this going, oh, but people will un more likely not be toxic to voice chat. That's a, a much of a muchness. Um, it's... <laughs> Some people say it will be more toxic. Some people say it won't be toxic. Some people be saying it's around the same. And I'll say if it's around the same as what it currently is, I'll never use it. Uh, if it's worse, I'll never use it. If it's better, there's a chance. But I don't think it'll be better. I think it'll be probably about the same as the current text-based system, where you still have one or two people per game that is just terrible people. Uh, and I'm not interested in that. You know, a lot of people go, oh, the mute function still exists. To me, there's a difference of seeing someone type something mute them get them out the way then someone just shouting in your ear potentially like screaming in your ear, and then you have to mute them like one is a bit more damaging like you know if it's hurting your eardrum before you have to mute to me that's a bit different personally um so yeah that that is my big 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 first point is league doesn't handle toxicity well now so how on earth are they going to do it with the voice chat system that's my first point um next point is like i said earlier is it potentially will get people out of their bubble uh there's a lot of socially awkward people that play league hell video games and talking to people again it helped me but i want to preface by saying that random voice chat didn't help me uh pre-made voice chat did so it wasn't randomly going on xbox live and talking to anybody playing halo it was being in my world of warcraft guilds server on my 
own Discord server, whatever it was, it, that was the thing that helped me. The people that I knew, not the people that I didn't know. Um, so yes, voice chat can help. And I, it would be cool if it gives you opportunities to meet people. But all it takes is that one or two person to just smash and scream at a socially awkward person. And it will put them even worse than they were before. So that's awful. Um, so I, again, that, that is something that I'd be careful with. Um, so there's that. Uh, next thing is, um, so like uh, the counter to what I was saying earlier is one of the massive points that I see voice chat doing is giving a massive boost to team play, communication and gameplay in general. The problem with that is that it's going to do that to people that use voice chat, but it's going to do the complete opposite to the people that don't want to use voice chat. Um, basically, so... Uh, people have said in the past, doing a duo queue gives you a slight advantage, and that's why Riot raised your MMR um, accordingly. So that is 100% true. Like, if you're going in a duo queue, Riot is expecting you guys to be on communication, having increased communication, increased team play. Therefore, they raise the MMR of your game to make it a little bit harder to counter that. Where if you're going into solo queue and they don't raise the MMR, like, how will they know if you're going to use voice chat unless you have to click it before you have to go in? Like, oh, yeah, I'm using voice chat, yes or no. Maybe it'll raise your MMR if you do, maybe. Um, but for the team that doesn't use voice chat versus a team that does, or if a top player just isn't interested in using voice chat, well, the communication is actually probably going to go down to what it is currently, not up. So if a, say like say me, I'm playing in top lane. I'm not interested in voice chat. I turn it off. But four of my teammates are using it. Do you think they'll actually type to me, or do you think they'll just use voice chat? They'll probably just try to talk to me, even if I say, "Yo, I'm not using it." So communication probably will go down to certain people. And let's just say again, to me, you can't say to somebody you have to use voice chat in league. If it comes in, because League was built off no voice chat, everybody that played League wasn't used to it. So to me, you can't suddenly flip the whole community and go, no, you have to use it, because that's not what League was. It should be an optional feature that nobody should be kind of harmed for not using. Um, and it's going to be an interesting thing that if you've got one team that is, all five of them are using it, and then one team that no one is using it, well, surely the team that is using it is just going to have a massive advantage. And that's not the fault of the people that aren't using it. They signed up to a video game, League of Legends, that didn't have voice chat. That was about this solo individual originally. Um, so to me, they shouldn't get punished, but they're going to be. So that to me is also a massive issue um, because League was built with no voice. Like, If League was from season one, had voice chat, then fine. Like They built the game with it. But because the game is so old, there's going to be a lot of people going, I'm just not using it. This wasn't the game that I signed up for. And now they're going to get punished um, comparing to people that do use it. To me, that's a massive, massive issue um, unless they do something prefacing it by like you go into solo queue and that you have an option. Use voice chat or not use voice chat. Click or not click. And if you don't click it or if you click it and go, yes, I want to use voice chat, then in my opinion, it should raise your MMR like you're in a duo queue. Like it does do if you're in a duo queue. That potentially can counter a bit, but then still even a slightly worse team versus a better team. One team using communication, one not. I've got to go with the communications probably going to win. Like, it, again, this is... It's comparing basically two different playstyles of League. Like, if you had a ranked fives team back in the old... or it, Again, we can put it to new. If you've got a clash mode team, like clash is the new tournament mode, you've got a, a diamond clash mode team that plays together a lot, is ready to play, versus a solo queue team that is all solo, no communication, you'd put your money on the clash team every time because of the communication. So I don't know. I'm a little bit weirded out by that. Like, again, I don't think you can punish people for not using it when League of Legends was built off no voice chat. And that's going to be a delicate line. Um, that's going to be a really delicate line. And what I'm going to do right now in the top right of the video, uh, there'll be a little click out, little circle that you can vote. And it's just a simple vote. Or are you going to use it? Yes or no? Um, I just want to kind of see, just get a gauge of who's going to use it or not, because it'll be interesting. Um, and now let's go into the next point of... Um, basically people that just, well, someone like me, because some people are going to go, why aren't you wanting to use it? <sighs> I've said it before. I play League for me. I play League for relatively selfish reasons, especially in solo queue, that I'm there for me, playing my game, not interested in other people. Uh, if I'm interested in other people, I'll play Clash. I used to play rank fives. I used to play tournaments. I used to play... Um, well, I'll be playing Clash mode. So it's not like I'm solely only me in League of Legends. I think there's just a time and a place for what I want to do. 
if I'm in solo queue, I'm in solo queue. I'm not there for anybody else. I'm for me, and I don't want to hear anybody. I, I, you know, I either do a commentary or I listen to music. I'm just playing League myself. But if I want to have that communication, then I'll go in a game mode that requires it. Flex, Clash, Ranked Fives back in the day, Tournaments. So I think there's a little bit, hopeful, like there's a weird overlap that they're trying to bring solo queue again, like they get, they kind of did a few years ago, into like more team play. And if anything taught Riot that people don't want that is season six, dynamic queue. The whole point of dynamic queue was, hey guys, team play, that's the big thing, a league. And people left the game. They, they, they scrapped dynamic queue because it was hated. It was season six was the most hated season of league ever because they tried to push team play. And that's kind of what it seems to be doing. If they're putting voice chat in solo queue, it's like team play, do more team. Play. It's like, no, we don't want to do that. Like again, the whole top lane drama at the moment, even though I don't agree with a lot of it, is give us more individuality back. Stop pushing the team play thing on us. And like I said to that, is like, yes, adapting is good, but even I want more individual play. When Rengar gets reverted, you bet your bottom dollar, I want to play Rengar top again. So it's like, you know, that's just the way that it goes, sadly, is that Riot, for some reason, has this, like, team play driving down our throats when they, one, didn't build League of Team Play. Two, it's clear that the, the community doesn't want that because look at Season 6, but for some reason, they keep doing it. Um, so, yeah, so far, obviously... We've counted quite a few points already of really big ones. You know, you can't control the toxicity on voice chat. Again, the only way that I'd be comfortable, you know, if Riot came and go, guys, we can. We, we can. We've got a system in place that we can. I wouldn't believe them right now. The only way that I'd believe them is if they did it in text chat. It was If it was proven that, damn, toxicity has basically gone away in text chat now they're doing voice chat, I'd be like, oh, okay, you know, that makes sense. But they have not got that under control at all. So to me, that's a little bit stupid of why they're trying to now go up to the next step when they don't even have control of the, the basic step. The other point was like, you know, for the people that are a little bit on edge, you know, you, you never know people's background. There are some people that are in very bad situations and they escape to League of Legends. Um, that either they can get easily, you know, I don't, I don't want to say the word abused, but to me, the difference of someone typing bad stuff to you and shouting it to you, talking it to you, to me, there are different worlds, and the talking and that—that that is worse. Um, and to those that count at that point, going, "Oh, mute all's a feature." Well, then you're putting someone at a massive disadvantage when there wasn't that disadvantage before. Um, if somebody mutes all in text chat, well, to me, you don't really need text chat that much anyway. You got the the amazing ping system that pretty much can cover you in most avenues. But if people are literally talking to each other and you've got, let's just say you have that um, um, every now and then you're going to have five people that just get along, that all can understand each other, that ju it just works versus a team that everybody mutes each other. Guess which team is going to win? So like to me that you're just giving an unnecessary disadvantage to people that just don't want to use voice chat, which I imagine is going to be a pretty large amount of people. Even I, as like a fairly confident talky person, never going to use it. I hate the idea of it. Um, and then obviously, yes, you've got the, 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 the whole pushing team aspect to the whole of this where people don't want that. My next point of why I don't think it's a good idea is, well, it depends on the server. And I will say that, but especially where I'm from. So again, a lot of people think I'm from America. For some reason, I'm not. I'm from Europe. I, I live in England. I play on European West. The different dialects of Europe is huge. As in languages, as in accents. And then on top of that, we can actually add something else here, is microphone quality, background noise. All of this has to also be taken into consideration. Um, so for like America, it may not be that bad. Like I said it, uh, even in Unranked Diamond recently, there were people talking, I think, Danish or Flemish or something in the chat. And I was like, oh, like, you know, we get this quite a lot in Europe. Um, and I imagine America gets English and Spanish a lot. And even the comment section of that video is going, no, it's basically just English. All the Spanish people play on LAN, um, Latin server. So it's pretty much 99% English on America. So voice chat for you guys probably isn't going to be that bad. You all kind of sound American. Yes, you've got your different regional accents, but American, like I've been to America a lot. I can understand pretty much everybody in America, maybe not people from the woods in Kentucky, but <laughs> apart from that, like, it, you know, I can understand them. Um, so that's fine for you guys. Um, and then uh, with the in people in China, again, there are regional accents, but they all speak Chinese. There's two different types, Mandarin and um, 
Cantonese, but I think are they separated by different? I, I don't know if they're separated at all. Um, but yeah, for the most points, I think Europe is going to be hit by this the hardest. So in 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 uh, Europe, you've got accents within even just Britain that different people can't understand each other. Um, you've got Swedish people that speak Swedish. You've got French, German, Spanish, Portuguese. Like, it's crazy. You All the Nordic countries, German, like, it's it's incredible. And I will say, a lot of these countries speak English. Like, it's it's actually embarrassing of how many of these people speak English and the us, the English, don't speak any other. It's embarrassing. But you can't deny accents. So I'll tell a story very quickly of my personal friend group contains mostly British people, but a couple other people, Swedish people and stuff like that. Um, we used to raid on World of Warcraft and my good friend Galzuk, who is Swedish, um, without not exaggerating, literally couldn't understand somebody in our guild. He was from Scotland um, and he, but Gals really tried his hardest to actually understand what he was saying. He couldn't. He literally could not understand a guy from Scotland. The rest of us could pick it up, but he couldn't. And then you're going to like amplify that with bringing in all different countries from Europe. And I will say, even I have a hard time sometimes understanding people within Britain. If you have somebody from um, a Geordie accent, I can't pick that up sometimes. Or certain Irish accents are very strong. Accents are going to be a problem. And I imagine that's going to become really, really frustrating for people that, let's say, are Geordie or something, that have a very, very strong accent. And if they're talking, and to them, they can make complete sense. And if they're the enemy team or his own team is going to go in, what are you saying? That could probably get quite, quite frustrating. Uh, and that could, again, lead to toxicity. So, again, that's more of a lesser point to me. Now, the bigger points is, like, the, the disadvantage it gets, uh, the toxicity. But the accents also have to be, you know, taken in consideration here. Uh, and then also mic quality. Not everybody has, you know, a £600 studio mic. People have t cheap £10 mics that sound terrible. Background noise. There's going to be kids crying in the background. Who knows? TVs. Uh, somebody playing any type of music, any sounds, if you get my meaning, going on in the background. To me, it's just a recipe for a little bit of a disaster. And usually, I would say it'll be okay, but I know the League community. Like, again, I know of all gaming communities I've been a part of, so I was massive in the COD community, World of Warcraft community. League is the biggest one I've ever been in. I know this community very well. And to me, it's not a good idea giving them the power to uh, potentially give any sound to people's speakers or anything like that like uh, that just seems like a bad idea and again so people gonna go oh just mute it again then it leads to the point of you're making a disadvantage occur when it doesn't even happen now that's the problem it, it, it to me it has so everybody agrees i would hope that there are problematic players in league of legends and let's just say that like that what voice chat does is expand that because basically it makes them, right now, the problematic players, you can mute them, you move on. Um, the communication does get hurt, but you can use the ping system. Um, and it, it's very similar to the text, really. Like a lot of what you're going to say, you know, oh, I'm on my way, blah, blah, blah. You can use that in the ping system. Where, because, by the way, the counter to this, because a lot of people go, oh, you can just like, um, you can use ping system in, in, instead of voice chat. The reason why, to me, they don't match up is because what you type, you can't type an essay in League of Legends while playing. You can't fully type your point. Oh, hey, guys, we're going to go do Dra Dragon in two minutes. Make sure you go blah, blah. If you type that, then that means you're not actually playing League. You're typing. Well, you can talk while playing perfectly. It doesn't affect you. So for me, it is different. It is completely different that you can't compare not using text and then using pings to not using voice and using pings. To me, they're not on the same level because typing takes more time than talking. You can't play League while typing where you can talk while typing. So to me, again, you're giving a disadvantage to people that just don't want to use voice chat when that disadvantage currently doesn't exist. So to me, it's a little bit of an issue. So as you can tell, I'm more definitely against this than for it. If it does happen, it happens. But I can tell you right now, I just won't use it. I'm not interested. I, uh, my days of being screamed at by 15-year-olds on Xbox Live, they're gone. I am not interested. At a 23-year-old, I'm fine with having my personal friend group that I talk to, uh, my dedicated friend group that I talk to, and I'm not interested in random people in solo queue. 
again, I'm not, I'm not there for all other people. I'm there for solo queue. So that, that's my point. But please, in the comment section below, go all out. Obviously, this video went longer than I expected, which actually isn't great right now because I've got to use my mobile data to upload this. Uh, which I kind of forgot about. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, throw a like on the video. Go crazy in the comment section, but make sure you keep it civil. Um, if you can't keep a conversation civil, then you kind of lose the argument in my eyes. So yeah, hopefully you go at it down there. Uh, throw a like on the video. Again, the, the explanation at the beginning. I have no idea when my internet's fixed, but by the time it's fixed, I may already have gone away for three days. So great timing, huh? So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. See ya.